What's going on you guys? Hey, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to get a neurosurgery residency as an IMG, all right? I know, I just blew your mind right now because you're thinking, oh my God, I'm an IMG. I'm never gonna get neurosurgery. I want a neurosurgery residency. And a bunch of you guys keep asking me this shit. If you bug me long enough, I'll do it. I'll tell you how to do it. Let me just tell you a little caveat here. This is my opinion. I am not a neurosurgeon. I didn't get a neurosurgery residency as an IMG. I got a general surgery residency as an IMG. But during my residency, I was offered a neurosurgery spot. This is where it comes from. First, I want to say that you got to get your together because if you're somebody that's like half-assing it in school and you're kind of getting like average grades and you're not showing up sometimes and you sleep through class this is not the person that can do a neurosurgery residency okay this is hard not only do you, can you not get the residency there's no way you can actually perform and be a neurosurgeon it takes like some serious these guys work like i thought i worked a lot these guys work all the time everybody wants to do it or a lot of people want to do it because well it's it's great it's like you do some amazing shit, okay you operate on the brain it's pretty awesome until you realize the brain is just like a gob of goo and when you operate on it it's like not that exciting you just suck a bunch of blood out and whatever I'm just kidding I've only done a couple neurosurgery operations and it's usually where it's like an epidural hematoma or a subdural and I get to like help them out. I just, you just, I just hold the sucker and I just <laughs> suck brains into my sucker there. And anyway, that's only my perspective. You cannot be a slacker and be a neurosurgeon. That's just not compatible. You have to have your sh together, okay? You gotta be like an, a straight A student. If you're an IMG, okay, by this point, in some of my other videos, I talk about why IMGs don't get residencies because a lot of them just Around. If you want to get a neurosurgery residency or a surgery residency, then you have to get your sh together. You better be getting straight A's and you better be studying your balls off for step one because this is basically your only shot. So that's number one, get your sh together, get straight A's and number three is crush step one. You're gonna need to get like probably over a 240 if you want to get directly into a neurosurgery slot. Four is that you need to apply to IMG friendly programs. I did my residency in Michigan. There are a lot of IMG friendly surgery programs, general surgery programs in Michigan. I don't know if they are IMG friendly for neurosurgery or not because I did not do that. I believe New York, there's uh, quite a few IMG friendly residencies as well. And those are the only ones that I am aware of. I got interviewed at Maricopa County in Phoenix. So they were, willing to look at me. So Michigan, New York, I got interviews there, and Phoenix, that's a start. Now go look in like the student forums, talk to people, talk to residents have got, or students have got neurosurgery residency as an IMG or just neurosurgery residencies and ask them if there are there any IMGs there because it's few and far between. Okay, so that's like four steps. However, that's not how you get it. That's the direct approach. A lot of you will not be able to do the direct approach I'll tell you right now, it's because there's limited spots. Most of those guys that go in there are girls, a lot of US students, and crushed every single test they ever took. My opinion, how else can you do that, because that's what I get asked, is you get into a program, a surgical program, probably general surgery, because you're gonna need a general surgery. First year, you're gonna need a surgery year anyway because the first year of neurosurgery is a lot of surgery rotations plus neurology and a little bit of medicine so that's almost like a transitional year for neurosurgery but it's not quite the transitional year the usual transitional years are like you're doing a lot of everything neurosurgery you do heavy surgery rotations some neurosurgery but you also do a little bit of medicine and neurology and stuff so what you wanna do is you get a general surgery program into a general surgery program that has a neurosurgery program as well. And this is what happened to me. My first year, I did very good on the ab site, American Board of Surgery in Training Examination for General Surgery. Then people got to know me 
I did a good job. I was a good person. I got to know the people in the hospital. The program directors liked me. The program directors talked to each other, right? The general surgery program director and the neurosurgery program director. They all know each other. They talk and sh my second year, I was doing ICU rotations with some of the neurosurgery residents, the first year residents, because they rotated through ICU. And they liked me because I wasn't a f asshole like the other general surgery residents. Then they heard that one guy was gonna drop out and they needed somebody to fill his slot and they were gonna have to find somebody. And they came to me and they said, dude, you should apply to our neurosurgery program. You would be awesome, we would love to have you. These are the interns. Now I had also worked with other neurosurgery residents, the three, four, five, and the twos, and they liked me also because I wasn't a all like the other general surgery residents. You see where I'm going with this? This is the back door to basically any residency that you want. This is a big gamble. It's not 100% guaranteed, but if you don't get a residency, this is pretty much your only shot. A friend of mine did two years of internal medicine. He did not get a general surgery residency where he wanted to go, so he did two years of internal medicine. And in his third year, he transferred into general surgery first year as an intern. And then he did a five-year general surgery residency. That's how he got it. So same thing, back door. That's the secret to getting basically any residency you want, especially a neurosurgery residency, residency if you are an IMG. So this can apply to ortho. Uh, when I was in my general surgery residency, several people traded spots. Ortho residents dropped out. General surgery residents dropped out, got fired. So if you're internal medicine, if you're family medicine, if you want a general surgery, get in a spot that has a general surgery, get in a hospital that has a general surgery residency already, take the internal medicine, then get to know those people. It's all relations. You gotta do a good job. You have to have some people pulling for you. And then you have to be like, please, can I have this spot? One of my other friends did a general surgery. She decided she hated general surgery. She went into anesthesia in the same, hospital she did like six months of anesthesia decided she hated anesthesia want to go back to general surgery and now she's a cardiothoracic surgeon boom type in the uh, comments below thank you dr parker you're the f bomb because i am hey you guys thanks for watching this video see you in the next one comment share subscribe like all that good stuff and i'll see you later take care